So, here's the deal. We are not going to do the Confessor statues today. What we are doing is we are beating the game because I am going into New Game Plus and uh, I'm going to do the Wounds of Eventide true ending. And uh, that requires me to do the Confessor statues again if I decide to do them now. So I, I, I'm going to do them in New Game Plus instead, which might be a mistake. But, you know. Okay, so one thing we want to do first. We want to go over here. Because my boy, Cleophas, should be right here. There he is. What up, dude? Yes. I love the mercy incarnate in her and her, the daughter of mercy itself. How can I love the others more than holiness itself? The order, I remember it. Its rule was my rule some time ago. My thoughts are forlorn, penitent one. I need to pray. Thank you, penitent one, in silence. It is my duty to watch over the others in the absence of Our Lady. The order awaits me. There we go. Anything else? Thank you, penitent one. Whatever. And now he should go back to Albero. Should we go back to these game areas I never did here? I think I'm gonna do that before we go into the final boss just to check it out. I mean, I could just look at my map to see what's actually there first, but... I don't know. So, he should be in here. There's people in here now. Oh, nothing. Give me. Token of appreciation. Oh, I think that's from, uh, from me donating. Holy shit, look at all these browser beads I never got. <laughs> Just an ordinary marble presented as thanks for the charity we received. Somehow, the scratch glass resonates with the empty bile flasks, increasing your strength when the liquid has run out. Finally, the church is going to open after so long. Soon, the constant silence of this place will end. A new light will enter throughout, through the gate, and the dust will rise from the worn tiles and damp wood of the pews. Everything must be perfect, everything in place and ready. I am the child of the mass. This is my calling. All right. What up, dude? Penitent one in charity. This is my new home. And from here shall my vigil begin anew. Take these words I managed to transcribe from the voice of Our Lady amid suffering, so they can become a prayer which you can raise in her memory. Tiento of your thorn hairs. The order blesses you, penitent one in the righteous path. Check it out. Summons the help of the thorned dame, who protects the penitent one from all evil for a short while. Oh, I can use it three times. Wait, what? Does that, like, turn me in invincible while it lasts? No way, that's super good. Also, while editing one of the episodes, I saw that this actually does something. You get fervor back at the expense of a tiny bit of health. Yeah, glad I figured that out. I'm just at the end of the game here. God damn it, dude. Okay, so. Should we go down into the deceased cistern and check out those areas before moving on? Actually, hold up. 
Where was that last uh, sword upgrade? I think it's like hard to get or something. Uh, I think that's... It's not here. So where is it? Actually, severed hand. That's where we're going, right? I think you can bless that thing. I don't remember what it did, though. Let's see if we can find. Here it is, number seven. And this is what we need to do to get there. Should we just go there first? I think we should just go there first, though. Before reading. Uh, see, where was that severed hand? It was also down here, right? Yes. So let's just go to the places. Is there anything nearby? I think we just have to walk there. Uh, yeah. See, I still have my boss stuff on me, but... Should be good. Early game area. Oh, I think... We don't keep our... I don't... Hmm. Wait, hold on. What do you actually keep going into New Game Plus? Let's have a look at that. Okay, you keep... This is what you keep. So you keep all abilities. What will be reset? It doesn't say anything about uh, sword upgrades. Unless that counts as abilities. So it might be worth to get it. At least just to buy the ability, you know. Unless it's super hard, then fuck it. Yep, this is the room. Look at this shit. Can move freely. What do we have here? Sambra of the Replenant Crown. Him intoned with the rays of the sun, which generously bathe even in the darkest of places. His blessing increases the tears harvested by mea culpa for a while. Many yearn for these remainders of the miracle, but the greed can prevent them from recognizing what truly matters. Oh, it's like a tear farming thing. Okay, next. Just go down. Oh, yeah, it's this one. This one was the hand, was it? Severed hand. A severed hand that lightly grasps a broken bell, sometimes afflicted by light spasms. The affliction sometimes leaves its mark on mundane looking objects, unable to reveal the miracle under its mantle of corruption. As soon as the atrocious earth tremors was heard, they knew something dreadful had happened. They searched for the master in the deepest part of the cave, they were met with a gigantic dust cloud that extended far beyond their eyes. And even though they called the name of their master, there was no answers. Days went by until the cloud cleared and they could face the devastating consequences of the landslide. Feeling hopeless, but suddenly amidst their tears, they heard a faraway sound. Okay, so I think we need to get that blessed by the fountain guy. Okay, so to get here, we need to go around like this, right? If I remember correctly. So, let's go. I haven't even been here yet. <laughs> Hiding behind the pillar, really. Oh well. Let's see what we got in here then. Item. Gimme. Another bone. Also, we need to get all the bones if we want the true ending. Again. So I need to collect all of this again, later. Uh, Senex spent a lifetime... Wait. Hyod Bone of Senex the Beggar. Senex spent a lifetime fleeing pain, which caused more and more suffering to his tortured soul. Only when he accepted pain as part of his life did he find a meaning to it. 
Nice. <laughs> Alright, dude. Okay, where the fuck are we now? We are in the elevator shaft. Let's equip the thing. Okay, here it is. Chalice of Inverted Versus. I think this is uh, like a super hard challenge. In order to enter here for the final sword upgrade. Rusty Iron Cup of simple appearance. Its interior is embossed in lackluster silver and depicts rows of spiral verses, which is sanded to the bottom. These rhymes speak of pagan beasts and forbidden fruit. But, father, where are all the idols, paintings and statues that the mother has seized and banned? If they were inspired by the faith in our miracle, they should not have been destroyed. For it would have been a great sin. I don't know, dear son. But I would bet my faith that those underground galleries hide more than air. Alright. So. Uh, let me. There we go. Uh, so where did this thing go? I had it up. I think I closed it again. Actually, it's on the map. Oh, never mind. Here we go. So, it's right here. Charles of Inverted Versus. And this it was, is what we need to do to get in. Without dying or teleporting, kill one each of the tomb carrying maidens, the big bullhead throwers and the lion heads to fill up the Charles of Inverted Versus. Then make it back here to open the door to the Seven Smear Kulpa Shrine. Currently teleporting using the Predio does not seem to suffer the same restrictions as teleporting using the hand portals. But that should make it easy then. Kill Isabel in the Predio chamber in sleeping canvases. Head up to the library, mother mothers. Wait, if I can just teleport, I... Okay, let's try teleporting first, just in case it actually works. So, uh... Kill... Isabel in the prettier chamber in sleeping canvases. Okay, let's do that first. Where are we? Where's the closest? We're here. Can we even get here? Can I equip the bottomless pit thing? This is the one, right? Yes. Maybe we can just jump down. Let's try. Oh, hop. Nice. Wait, can I get in here though? No. Fuck. <laughs> well, I guess we can take the elevator up. Unless there's a Predia down here too. Well, over here. Wait, does this take me all the way up? Oh, wait, there was an item there. What? Well, oh, this goes all the way up, doesn't it? Fuck. Well, get a second try. Let's go. Oh, look at this shit. Okay, we can get the item. Maybe. If we actually fall down again. I think what I can do is doing something sneaky like this. Do that to break your... Break your fall. Oh, fuck. Living dangerous. Alright. Wait, what was the restrictions again? Was it just... Without dying or teleporting? Okay, so you can't take damage. Okay, it's not that bad then. It reminds me of that quest in Hollow Knight, where you have to carry that white flower through the whole game without taking damage. But you actually can't take damage here, so... Well, this is actually the area with the lamps, too, before I figured out you can actually bounce on them. I think there's an item here somewhere that we didn't get to. Probably just a bone or something. Actually, I think it's, like, up here. Yeah, it's this one. Ah, oh, fuck it. Fuck it! Let's get out of here.
And we are teleporting... What did it say again? Sleeping canvases. Where's that? Over here. Wait, there's two. What the hell are we killing? What is Isabel? Tomb carrying maidens. Alright. See if we can find one. Uh... I think there's one at the end of this hall here. Yeah, this one. Alright. She is a lot more tankier than I remember. But it's fine. Alright, that's one, I guess. Let's see, does the thing change at all if you do it? No. How the fuck are you supposed to figure that out then? Uh, next. Kill Lionhead at the bottom of the shortcut room in Wall of Holy Prohibitions. The bottom of the shortcut room. Alright, well, back to Wall of Prohibitions then. In the shortcut room. This has to be the shortcut room, right? I don't remember where those dudes were. I mean, this dude didn't respawn. I already killed, like, all of them, didn't I? Is this the shortcut room? Fuck, what's the shortcut room? Like, there was one on this elevator, right? Ah, shit. It's not here, is it? No. Aha! Why do I do so little damage, man? Has been partially filled? Why didn't that pop up earlier? What? Cup is partially filled. Did I not kill the right dude before? Okay, I, I don't know if teleporting using a prayer were, uh, resets it, so I'm just gonna walk up again. Does this even go to the right place? Yes, it does. Okay, next. Uh, kill big bullhead thrower in the first screen of Mountains of Endless Dusk. Bullheads, why well, one of these dudes? Okay, so that first guy I killed didn't count then. The hell? Does it get unfilled if I teleport? No, it empties, dude. I actually have to walk. Okay, I don't know if this is worth it. Like, what even is the final sword upgraded? How close am I to one of those? Maybe I should get these two before going into New Game Plus if I... Okay, what is this? Bleeding Miracle reaches... Reaches mastery in the technique of casting blessed blood. After launching a complete causes a sacred explosion at the furthest point of its trajectory, causing additional damage. It consumes fervor. It's kind of good. Oh, you do keep your abilities, but oh shit. 
I know what to do, dude. Spinning attack. Do we just get these and then just get the fuck on with it? Ah, fuck it. Alright. Just have to leave that final thing. I don't care. Uh, let's get out of here. The new game plus playthrough is probably gonna go a lot faster than this one too, so... Now what do we want? Do we want the new thing, this one? Turn invernable? What was this? Oh, that's the one we got from... Uh, how many times can we use this? Three. What beads do I have on? Health. Uh, increase the power of prayers. I think that's double damage. Uh, faster flasks. Increases defense. Yeah. Well. Let's go. Yeah, the thing is, like, if I, I was just about to beat the game now and not play anymore, I wouldn't, like, care at all. But, you know, going into New Game Plus, if it was actually something I really cared about. The In range attack of... In my dreams, I heard your footsteps coming closer. In my dreams, I tried to talk to you and introduce myself. Guardian of the miracle and of the miracle banner with great pain... I carry the emblem of the Father. I am the hands of bloodied skin. I am the eyes from which our mother gazes. But nothing I know of you, apart from your cold, nameless visage, apart from your calloused and wounded hands, apart from the mourning of your death. I wonder if this is going to be a real no, boss fight or... I know nothing of you. A joke fight, because we did... Miracle. That last boss kind of felt like a. F oh. Now may your sword full of we're about to find out. With mine of gold collide. Which and button was the parry button again? Shit. <laughs> I curse you forever in name. I bless you forever in death. And whatever, bro. Come at me. He's Holiness Eskibar. Okay. Okay, he has no health. Hello? What prayer did I have on? I already forgot. Right, this one. There's fucking wind in here too. Okay, I can't hit him. Nope. Okay. Get out. Is this like a fucking pinwheel boss fight? Am I gonna get embarrassed if I die here? Dude, I'm fucking dying. That's, that can't be it, right? You Phase two. Now you see me awoken as the sun ah, is shit. a true miracle. Ah, shit. I was hoping for an easy fight, dude. Well, now that's more like it. Is the sword we're fighting now, or what? It is. Didn't even deal any damage. How do I deal damage this fucking thing? Okay, can I stand at the edge of the screen with those explosions? 
unclear. Is that him, like, in the tube here? Okay, I can dash through a sword. Can I attack like his face or something? Like, kinda? Not really? Am I supposed to attack the sword until he does something? Oh. Aha, I see. Well. Platforms, please. Oh. How am I supposed to jump up? Okay. Fuck, dude. Okay. Alright. All right, do I have to uh, fight the first phase again too? Probably. Wait, I didn't get my... Now may your sword full of Where was the... With mine than her Did I just walk past it? I bless. Uh... Is it in the other arena? There we go. Is my thing in here? You have now. I really have to watch this cutscene every time too. Okay, here it is. That's weird. Do I even need to attack the sword? Oh shit. What the fuck was that? Fuck. Do I even take damage from the sword? I don't. Or do I? Maybe I do. Oh, he opened up. But I don't have any platforms. Fuck, dude. Fuck, dude. Oh, he closed up. Surely there's more to his fight than this. He's probably gonna do some bullshit when I get his health done. Because this doesn't seem like that hard. I know I'm taking damage all the time here. But... I'm so greedy with this prayer, dude. Can I... Oh my god, dude. Fuck these platforms. I'm getting stun locked. That fucking lightning stun locks, dude. God. Oh, that's so fast. Lightning is probably the most annoying. Open up, bitch. Wait, is it not, is it supposed to open up? Or not? Okay. Guess not. Holy shit, dude. Oh, what the fuck? Alright. Alright. Of course. Dude, you know what I should do? I should get... Uh, what's a good prayer that can attack him from up there? Like this one? This one? Look at that damage! The fuck is that prayer? You know what I should do? I should equip the... 
Okay, slowly walk over. No, that's not enough. Still get corner stuck. Hold up. That prayer is fucking OP, dude. How do I avoid that? Look, fucking sword juking me. Come on, come here. There we go. You know what we do now? We do this to get some fervor back. Heal up. Do it again. Okay, I think I'm going to wait for next cycle. I can hit him. I'm dead. I'm not dead. Okay, fine. Is he never closing? Fuck, I could have done some more there. Oh no, this is shit again. Like... Like, the tactics usually just walk slowly, but it lasts for so long that it doesn't fucking work. Oh, I thought it was auto attack. And more meteors, I'm dead. I'm dead! Alright, well... Let's equip some better stuff. Oh yeah, it increases the the cost too. Fuck. Okay, I can use it twice still. I think. Even with that. It's gonna deal double damage though, so it's probably worth it. Let's check out the damage on this shit. Come here, Oh! And... Oh! Wait, I can't do it again. What? Does that... Oh, it has a cooldown. It has a cooldown. No, I fucked up. Do that. Go! Oh! <laughs> what the fuck is the damage? Oh, that does no damage. Okay, the easy attack to dodge. The hard attack to dodge. Can you just open up again? In before, this isn't the last phase. Well, he seems dead. Just kidding. Fuck. Well, no, yes. That prayer is fucking OP. Summa Blasphemia. I guess. Oh. Alright, let's get that bad ending. What up? Oh, I'm walking. <laughs> I thought it was cutting. His holiness from his afflicted torment. And now he walks by the old processions on the other side of the dream. I almost feel bad for beating him that way. The cradle of the grievous miracle. The final relic. You know what? He's cheating against me, I'm cheating against him. Emanated from the forehead of the father as he silently lamented the moment of his blessed twisting. That first relic is here. At the top of the ashen mountain next to the turn throne where his holiness was kissed by a miraculous pain. And now, 
your final communion with the miracle awaits. Only you would be able to know how much of it has seeped into your guilty heart. Can't do it, son. Sink in. Oh. Can't reach it. The mountain of ashes that swallowed up sins and sinners alike has had no mercy on you either. At the mercy of the miracle you were, and at the mercy of the miracle you remain. You are no longer anything but one more anonymous visage, without a voice, without countenance. Your penitence is over. Way down by my guilt, dude. I guess. Ah, and there it is. Blasphemous. What a fucking game. A lot better than I thought it would be. Jesus. Oh. But we're not done yet. We actually have a lot more left to do.